Good morning, my no makeup friends. Today's tip is about the creeping cold. Yeah, it's really, really cold here. I put my hands in my pockets right now. It's really cold here in South Carolina now. No, not cold like up north, but it's cold. And it makes me want to snuggle in. It makes me want to put more layers of clothes on. And But let me just talk about thermostats because I've been pondering them a lot lately. You know, a thermostat is set on the wall. In my house, it's in the middle, right down the middle of the house. I've got more than one thermostat. And that means that where that thermostat is, in the middle of the hall, it reads the temperature there and turns the heat on and off based on, on that reading. Yeah. Now, have you noticed Oh, I noticed this particularly living in Maine, but that's true here in South Carolina too. The further away from that thermostat that I get, the chillier it can be. That that thermostat set at, well, I mine set on 66. Set on 66 doesn't mean that out near the outside walls of my place, it's 66 out there. It doesn't promise that at all. It only promises that right in the center, right near the thermostat, near where the reading comes from, that's where the heat is measured. That's where it's 66 degrees. Now a little bit on the upper floors of a house, it can be a little bit warmer because the heat rises, but, but basically that's true. And in Maine, that was not the case. No, there were no, uh, well, anyway, it was really frigid on the second floor in the house in Maine, the little cabin on the lake. It was frigid up there, worse. And so that's where I want to be. I want to be near the thermostat. <laughs> I want to. Now my my desk is out near an outside wall, and I put on several layers to sit there and work. But where I really want to be is near the thermostat because that cold keeps creeping in. It keeps creeping in. So the thing I, I realized in response to that, yes, I'm going somewhere. In the response to that is, uh, to get the benefit, I want to be right near the thermostat or I want to turn the thermostat up. <laughs> but that's where I want to be kind of sequestered where the thermostat is. Uh, I don't want to pay a lot of extra money, so I'm not turning the thermostat up. Actually, I've got the heating guy coming this afternoon. Okay. But do you see, well, the application to our spiritual lives, our physical lives these days, how things from the outside influences want to creep into my life. Yes, it can be something simple. Okay, and sometimes it can even be positive stuff. You know, you're in a football at a football game in the stands and you're on the sitting amidst fans on the winning side. Woohoo! Boy, you can really feel that come in, can't you? Well, if your team is losing though, yeah, that wants to creep in and take over my mind and my heart, my mood, my attitude, even my spiritual life. Can't God, can't you let my team win sometimes? What about other kinds of influences that try to push in that feel pretty darn cold to me these days. Like fear. Like overwhelm. Just wants to creep. I've had a really a tremendous experience with this. Yeah, tremendous. It made me tremble. Fear wanting to press itself in on me. It was emotional. And I actually, someone asked me, Sandra, are you all right? I couldn't talk. I just shook my head. I couldn't talk. What is it? And I, and I said, it's the fear. I can feel it. It's palpable to me in the situation and the environment that I was in. Now, it, it didn't take me over, but I could feel the pressure of it. Yeah, kind of speechless. But then I had been having this thought about thermostats before. And I said, let me just explain. So, well, it's not me. The person said, no, it's not me. 
No, I know it's not you, but let me just explain. And I talked a little bit about the thermostat idea. I don't know if they got it or not. But it's the same, the same response in a spiritual, emotional, uh, psychological way as it is in the physical. I know that the only place where confidence is, where my words, my wholeness, my secure feelings, security, and my freedom, I know where those come from. That, that thermostat is God himself. And so my choice is to be right near that thermostat. So, and yeah, I don't want to be wandering away out here where the cold can get me more easily. I want to be right near that thermostat. Now, you know, with the thermostat in my house, yeah, it's working well. I can turn the thermostat up and it, okay. And I know how to do that. I know how to do that. It's, I could, it's sort of like, well, the, the next image that comes is a flower in a glass dome, you know, really precious flower protected from dust, dust mites and a wind or somebody bumping it, you know. I can be there really, really close and I can turn the thermostat up. Actually, I just did that. I just spent pretty much an hour and a half working out at the gym but worshiping, worshiping with my music, worshiping in my heart, allowing that heat, the, the presence of the Lord to warm my body, to warm my mind, really, and to warm my spirit. The cold, now I'm sitting in my car, I have it turned on so it will warm up, but it's not warm yet. My legs are pretty chilly, but I know that I know that God is here and I am safe. Sandra, I am for you. I am with you. It's okay. Yep, I'm sticking by the thermostat. I don't know about you, but have a good day.